benchmark for AI created comprehension questions. Now remember, AI stands for artificial intelligence. That doesn't mean it's intelligent. It's just artificial. So here's the login username and there's the password. So we're going to click on here. We're going to open up this good old link. And I'm already logged in, but let's uh, let's show what it wouldn't be if I weren't. So I'm going to log out so you know how to do it. And then I'm going to log in right up here. Now, what's my username? I'm going to continue with email. There's my username. That's my CMSD email. Here's the password. Yada, yada. There it is. Okay, so I've given you the passages you need. We're going to create an AI quiz, generate from text. Cool. So let's start with the Latin first. So to highlight everything in a cell block, you just go from one cell, tab, control C, control V. And we're going to make it grade 12. And we're going to automatic questions, hit generate. Now, this is going to generate some questions. Are they going to be great questions? No, they're not. We're going to see how many they generate. Five questions. That's what they generated. Okay, that's not bad. It's giving me some Latin questions. Now, to copy it, it's kind of a pain, but straightforward. Mm, that question doesn't even make any sense, but let's try it anyway. Control C, go back to your document, Control V. Let's go control shift V. Okay, so it's pretty crappy. So there's your first question. You take it, make it a slug. Question two, make it a slug. These aren't bad. These are okay. Could they be better? Sure. But you know what? It's free, and everything you get for free is what you pay for it. So, as you can see, I'm trying to click it through here. I seem to have missed a question. There's one. There's two. Remember, everything is four, because four questions of a standard and multiple choice. And... Question five is just the question. So I think that's about right. They're okay. Now we're going to go back to quizzes. We're going to click on this again. And we're going to click on quizzes up here again. And we're going to create another one. What we're doing is we're creating it from the English because that way they have some experience in English and Latin. Same procedure, create from AI, create from scratch. No, not create from scratch. That's goofy. I am so sorry about that. We're going to do it again. Create quiz, create generate from text. Here's the text. Generate questions. Let's find out. The goal is to have, you know, 10 to 12 questions and let's see how many they generated one five questions okay well, that sounds good so rather straightforward those are actually pretty good so i go back i hit control v shift v right so you have it in the text and then you do it that way not bad. There's one question. Mm, 
those are those are not bad. Those are not bad questions. Maybe they're going to put teachers out of a job. Oh, one school I hear has one. Uh, so I'm going at it backwards, if you noticed, which probably isn't the smartest thing. We could be smarter. Uh, boom, there. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Yeah, 10 questions per is fine. They'll only get one of these comprehension questions. The key is what you want is an authentic learning experience for students. And a worksheet just doesn't hack it because you know that students will cheat. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Now, the format is listed for you. I'm going to go, I'm going to copy the MC up here. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here. And let's get the other stuff we need that needs to be one unit. Do, 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 do. Oops, that's not right. Do, 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 HTML, randomize. Yeah, that's about right. And I go here, click. Now, put your cell this way, put your mouse this way, and boom. Remember, it's got to be in front of it. Boom. 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 Now, the final thing that you need to generate is when you look at these questions, you have to anchor them into the text. So that's why I kept the sentences here. Uh, don't worry about the Latin at this stage. That's a little too much for you, but do the English. What is the purpose of the per, uh, writer writing about the death of his uncle? I look at the English. I see a so that. That's in sentence one. So I'd write in one, sentence one. Actually, you got to write the 16.1 because all of these are 16. 16.1, that's good. How much does the right will uh, to honor their uncle's memory? How much does the writer believe their uncle's death will be remembered uh, to his perpetuity? Yeah, I guess that's sentence one as well. What does what does the writer consider fortunate? So you're just reading comprehension. I'm asking you to reading comprehension in English, putting an asterisk there. What does it will be remembered? His life will be remembered. <clears throat> Destruction of the loveliest of land. It was as if he lives ever on, although he himself composed work plentiful and destined to endure. It's a lot of butt kissing. That's what that is. So what he wants to remember, that his... Life continues through his works as a fortunate person, as a significant disaster, as a tragic event. Best answer would be there as a life that continues in his work. Yeah, this is good preparation. All right. And then whom does the writer consider fortunate? 16.3. There you go. So, and that would be actually 16.1 on this one. 16.3 on this one. Mm, to, to have the ability to read and write. Boom. There it is. So that's how you do it. For the Latin, roughly the same thing. You need to look in the passage and at least find out where the reference comes to. Um, you don't have to come up with the answers on these, but you do know what to do. What do you ask that I would write? And that's in sentence one. So 16.1. All right. That's our venture into AI. 
it's different writing using AI to write questions and to write essays. Ah, ah, ah. All right, there's benchmark four. Pretty straightforward, not, not terribly tough. And I look forward to seeing it on the due date.